This is America in Space, a weekly news and information program on current events dealing with the space industry. Welcome, and thanks for joining me today. I'm Don Meyer, Space Coast News Editor. The James Webb Space Telescope was struck by a high-speed, dust-sized micrometeoroid in May. The particle hit one of the telescope's 18 primary mirror segments and caused a slight but noticeable effect on the segment's performance. Actually, this was the fifth such impact detected since Webb's Christmas Day launch. Engineers expect random hits by bits of space dust over the life of the observatory since the mirrors are exposed to space, but the impact of this one was a little bit larger than the pre-flight models predicted. After analyzing the C3 mirror segment's post-impact performance, engineers were able to send commands to the actuators on the mirror to ever so slightly reposition it, counteracting most, but not quite all, of the impact's observed results. Even with the hit, NASA said the telescope is still operating better than pre-flight requirements. Here's Fraser Kane of Universe Today to tell us a little bit more about the impact. We got the news this week that JWST was hit by a surprisingly large micrometeoroid. Now, these are small particles of dust really left over from the formation of the solar system or created through collisions between asteroids. They're everywhere across the solar system and they're tiny and you, you can see them during meteor showers things like that. And they impact spacecraft all the time. And they're all designed to handle this. But engineers working with James Webb announced this week that the telescope had been hit by a surprisingly large one. The impact happened sometime between May 23rd and the 25th. And they believe the particle was about 0.1 millimeter, which sounds small, 10th of a millimeter across and yet that's fairly big for micrometeorite impacts. And it caused a noticeable damage to one of the 18 mirror segments C3 specifically. This sounds kind of scary, but it's fine. Uh, NASA has said that even though it did suffer this impact, and it is it did noticeably degrade the quality of images coming from that segment of the mirror fine. It's still the entire telescope is still working above and beyond their original expectations. And this is one of the advantages of having these separate mirror segments on web, you can keep the damage down to one of its 18 mirrors and have the rest of them working fine. You're not going to get a spread a larger cracks forming inside the telescope. We'll still see those first images from web on July 12th. NASA Space News explained a little bit more about the impact and about the adjustments that were made to compensate for it. The micrometeoroid strike doesn't appear to have impaired Webb's vision significantly or left it incapable of making revolutionary observations of the universe. This direct hit on the telescope's mirror caught NASA by surprise. After initial assessments, the team found that the telescope is still exceeding mission requirements despite the impact that occurred between May 23rd and 25th. When meteoroids such as this one impact the mirror, the 18 segments can be individually adjusted. Engineers can cancel out a portion of the distortion by repositioning the affected segment. However, not all of the degradation can be reversed this way, so the first such adjustment has already taken place and subsequent mirror adjustments will further refine the correction. It is unknown how big the micrometeoroid is. Heidi Hamill a planetary astronomer long involved with the telescope and who will use it to study our solar system, said the object may have been as small as a grain of sand. Even something so small can cause damage because the telescope orbits the sun at such high speeds that it occasionally collides with a random particle. Despite being lonely out there in space, it's not as empty as it seems. Heidi added that there is no loss of science at all from this event. This telescope is out there in space. We knew that there would be tiny impacts on it, we were just surprised that one hit so soon. Scientists had anticipated such an impact every five years or so on average. So it looks like space is not quite as empty as we may have thought. From Florida Space Coast, this is Don Meyer for About Space Today. Thanks for listening. Be sure to share our program with your family and friends and follow us on Facebook. Join us each week for news and information on America in Space.